Hello, hello, hello again, my crafty buds. It's your crafty bud, Peggy, and I'm going to pop this through real quick. I'm on the last bar of this. You're all take to the box. Hope we make it. Guys, happy early Valentine's Day. Uh, I just wanted to share with you something that I made with my, my gesso, uh, the first uh, thing that I've made. Guys, I spotted this card at the store, and they wanted $4 for it. And it was just a little pepper on a white card that said, you're a hottie. You opened it up and said, I love you lottie. And like I said, four bucks. Really? Well, I think I can do that. So I had an old card that I upcycled um, and I gessoed it, which you can see on the background here, some of the texture from the gesso there, which I really like. That give this a nice mixed media feel. I did my first pepper. I think he turned out pretty good, guys. I used um, uh, just red acrylic paint and drawed him out with this little pepper top here. And I had a little cutout piece that was from a uh, die that I cut. This was like a the little spare thing, and I thought that looks like a pepper spout. So I put it on there. Had added two little eyes, a cute little smirk uh, smile, and there he is. On the background here, I used uh, Stays On Orange Zest. For my colors, I used uh, Brilliance in Sky Blue. And and you guys are going sideways, bless your heart. And then I used the uh, Color Box Cat's Eye in Pimento to achieve this look. And this was my card. Like I said, I like it now with more of a background. It's got a great feel to it. You open it up, and it says, And I Love You Lottie. And it's got like the little hot... Um, I like the way that turned out. And also, guys, a little tip. Uh, when recycling these cheap little cards, this was one of them uh, support the Alzheimer's and stuff, and they're just cheap cardstock. Add you a little extra paper down the middle or uh, across the entire thing for added support so it doesn't split. The back, I used uh, uh, my gesso again under here uh, with more of the distress inks and a little bit of acrylic paint underneath that. So that's how I did that. And guys, if you've got a hottie in your life, the, uh, the, the joke around here with the pepper, uh, Mark, one time he's never found uh, the hottest chili. And nobody can make it hot enough. And I made a pot one time that I was actually scared for him to eat, and I asked him not to. And um, he sat in front of the air conditioner and mopped sweat and ate that chili, y'all. My Valentine's Day, I thought I'd share with y'all real quick. We found a deal on this Twas the Night Before Christmas pad from Graphic 45. And guys, a chick from Honolulu had this and let this whole set go uh, with shipping to me for $90. So he bought it. I was like, oh my God, Rib. But he said, no, I want to. You've been drooling over that book uh, from Anna of Anna's Paper Creations, guys. Again, I'm going to give her another shout out. She is my favorite. Uh, she makes bookends, she makes lamps, uh, things that you can store your Copic markers and tapes and different things in, and it's just furniture pieces. Everything's got a hidden mini album in it that she makes. I love her work. And she does a, a mini album and a bunch of cards and different things out of this paper, and I want to do them. And so Mark bought me the line, and uh, this is what I received. I got the 12 by 12 sheets, the entire pack, uh, not just 12 sheets. I got the uh, uh, three of each image of these. So this was the entire collection here, <laughs> plus the 8 by 8, the 6 by 6. <coughs> Isn't this beautiful, y'all? Look at those gorgeous snowflakes. I'm going to do a lot of fussy cutting on this, uh, just like she does. I'm going to follow her and um, and make the book and all the little pieces. She makes little ornaments and gift boxes and cards out of this, and I just can't wait. I love it. As y'all know, I'm, I'm going to start on uh, the only other extra book this year is going to be the Rare Oddities. Um configuration box and mini albums uh, uh, that I'll be working on. And then guys, I got the 8x8 which is exactly like the 12x12 and then it came with, this is what the 6x6 papers will look like, each one of these. Beautiful, just gorgeous images. 
Uh, I got the tags and pockets uh, that goes with it. I think these are just luscious, y'all. And this is a retired pack, of course. A lot of her uh, creations she did several years ago. And some of these papers have gone uh, rare. Uh, I try to find them. If I can't, then I'll use, you know, if I have a Christmas paper or Halloween or yada, yada, yada. But if I get a good deal on them, I really like to get them. And then it came with the entire collection of the stamps, y'all. I was so excited to get this set. I, I just was so excited. And uh, he spoiled me. Uh, <laughs> bless his heart. We're going out to dinner. I'm taking him. Make it, I made him his honey card, and he's getting a new coffee cup. <laughs> Oh, boy. But, guys, like I said, if you like the hottie card, make your own version of it for the hottie in your life. And, again, I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful week. Uh, the background here, I'm in this room because the sun just moved out, and uh, I'm rearranging and stuff. And he even had his fan on the wall. How cool, huh? But uh, I'll be showing you guys the transformation uh, of the room as I do it and so I'm just kind of in here messing around with it a little bit today It's cold again, and I'm not in the back, so I'm over here and guys again Thank you so much for being here if you're new to the channel stick around guys. We got a lot coming up I've got a lot of uh, mini albums and stuff that I'm going to be sharing with y'all if you're into mini albums and and little paper creations you're going to be really thrilled with uh, what we do this year so stick around and guys, until the next time, be crafty, be cool, and I'll see you when I'm looking at you, all right? Bye-bye.